Well, she definitely ran low in oil because everything is discolored, dry. Look at those counterweights, dry as a bone. Looks like we got some serious problems here. Well, I'd say that was dry. Number two spun. Well, that had oil was the last one, which makes sense. That's closest to the oil pump. This thing's in bad shape. All right, here's the crankshaft out of our tied up 310 horse Merc. You know, I just like the journals. This thing could clean up 10, just maybe. Just depends. But it's pretty bad, ran out of oil. Obviously, filled it with double gasket, I was told, so. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Try to fix up our locked up big block crank. We got the job, so start to clean her up. See if we can take her. Hopefully, ten. We'll see. Okay, how's your needle this morning? Done, cleaned up 10 nice. This thing tied up hard, so we got a bunch of others. Hopefully, we can clean up 10. Okay, we got the rods all done. Now it's on to the mains there. I got some shit stuck to them, so let's see if we can get these to go 10, if not 20. Obviously, the rear one's good. That didn't get starved, but whew. all right, all right, we're all done. Finished uh, 10 under the rods, 20 under the mains, but you know what. This old girl, she tied up hard, she'll live again. Had to straighten it and was bent 20 thousands. But it's a far cry from what it was. <laughs> all right, final clean. All the oil holes, chamfered. Good enough. All right, got our rods all reconditioned. ARP bolts in this thing. Checking. Let them cool for a minute. Pretty square. Not bad for being all blown up, tied up. There you go. I don't show everyone of my rods, but I guess this time I will. the L29, got eight quarts in her. Oh, 
Okay, shot pop, 74L29. See how much fuel we got in her. She picked up now. Basically the same thing as a 1996 to 2000 Vin J Chevy pickup. 